So, <clears throat> here's my theory. After reading and watching enough items online, this where are we? Here we go. A couple, two, three things. Um, I only did the pitch and the roll. My theory was, since I'm using SAS, the roll and the rudder are being controlled in combination with each other with the computer, so changing both of them to me just maybe multiplies the factor of the change. So I only changed the roll. I won't let the computer change the rudder based on the roll. So. And uh, so I'm just going to show you Axis hmm, Tune. Uh, before I explain this, let's. Uh, okay, here's the default, which is a, obviously a straight line. And if you slide the curvature, it drastically changes everything. And in a formation flying scenario, you really only want to be concerned with right at the center. And I also include the throttle with that because I think, at least for the Warthog, flying at 200 knots, your throttle is almost at the center. So I made changes to the throttle, left and right throttle, only at the center as well. So this is no good. I don't want anything else changed. Everything else works great for me. So I did not want to adjust that. Instead, I went to the user curve and normally it has a set of custom numbers for the first four channels, we'll call them, its own numbers to make this straight line. So what I did is I adjusted each of these, 0, 6, 16, and 28, to only flatten right outside the center. and left the rest alone. To me, this makes sense. You're only concerned about the center of the stick when you're formation flying and the center of the throttle. So I changed, I used the same settings actually for, that was the pitch. I didn't change the dead zone or anything. And then here's the roll, same exact settings no dead zone, saturation X and Y, I left it 100. And by the way, I did save that user curve so I don't lose it. And then for the throttles, I might have, <laughs> talk about simplicity, I used the same numbers for the left and right throttle. Yeah, 0, 6, 16, 28. And I'm claiming I think it's helping me because I haven't had a connection that good in a long time. So, it's my story. And that's it for now. Uh, I'm putting this at the beginning of the video so that you can see it up front and then you can see what I call positive results. That's it. All right, it's December 9th, another attempt at air-to-air -air refueling. Um, my tech and is active. Let's prepare to 
communicate when we get to 10 miles. Ah, you can see the pack can just dropped off again. And we don't hear the Morse code, so let's see what happens. Mm, we can't see because of clouds, so we gotta keep an eye on this radar altimeter and make sure it doesn't drop too low. I don't want to run into a mountain. Yeah. Our arrows are seeking. Well, I've been using this Thrustmaster stick for probably an end drive. Wardog for about two years. Hmm, look at this. Got down to a thousand feet. There's the mountain. <laughs> that I flew through the lowest point. Hey! Don't even <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow, mama. Whew. What mountain? <laughs> All right. Hey, seven miles. It's contact. Now. Come on, Bruce F6. There we go. He's way over this way. Man, I'm gonna make a U turn. After that adventure, almost ramming a mountain. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. I should be able to see him. Oh, I forgot to. Hmm, I forgot to turn the HMCS off, so we can see that. Alright. Let's see, it should be dead ahead. Seven miles. Hey, let's speed up a bit. Let's trim down. There we go. Trim left. Center of the track I are. So we must be making a turn. Six miles. Should be somewhere. Well, I'm at 12,000 feet. Gotta come down. Alright, dead ahead. Distance is coming down five miles. Altitude is down eleven and six. I think I see him out there. Of the mountain. Come down a little more. Maybe I don't see him yet. Hmm. Hmm. Now I gotta slow down. 
going to happen is we're going to race right past them because we're flying too fast. There. Okay. Now we're getting there. 277. Two miles, let's open our port. So, like I said, I've been using the uh, Thrustmaster Warthog stick and throttle for two years. I don't have any stiction, it's working great, but after all this time I've been using the default curves for the axes. And I went online enough I decided to do my own adjustment after all this time to see if I can help myself with the formation. Second of speed brakes. Speed has dropped some more. Keep my speed up. So, we'll see how my formation flying goes with this custom curvature that I did for my stick and throttle. Now, 
There he goes. Oh, get up there. Cut it off. Speed up, speed up. Wow, oh, I got distracted when he was popping up and down. There we go. Let's get it to the bottom of the hood. Watch the green band. Watch the green band. Oh, I got too far away. Oh, that was so excellent. Oh, that was excellent. Right. Shoot. I went the wrong way. This is too hot, I think. Get it. Now I'm all like that. All right. I think I had more control, so I'm going to do a video at the, um, I'm going to insert a video of the changes I made, which I think helped with the throttle and the uh, stick. That's it for now. This is a short one just because I had a really nice connection.